Finally on News 5, some high tech underwater work by Colorado Springs Utilities had to surface for the winter. It's a chance to see a newly added weapon helping fight potentially toxic blue green algae. Bill Folsom looks into what it means for our water. A recovery mission. Environmental scientists with Colorado Springs Utilities heading to a curious structure looking something like a satellite that could have crashed into Pikeview oh. Reservoir. It's here on purpose. To keep these reservoirs clean and, and monitored and beautiful because they're community asset. Visitors to this reservoir faced warnings over the summer about phycocyanin or the easier said blue green algae. You need to stay out of the water when it's around. We can tell the difference between a benign green algae bloom and a potentially toxic cyano bloom. Water sample tests now have high tech support from this tube like device. These clean water pros are taking it out for winter. It's covered in the safe kind of algae. Its probes can detect the blue green kind and many other data points like water oxygen levels. Having six different probes on it? The name for it is SOND, basically an underwater probe that transmits information. The great thing about it is it actually um, so delivers and gives us all the data every 10 minutes. If the sound is suggesting that something's going on, but we don't have an exact understanding of what that is, it can trigger us to come out here and pull a sample. And then we take that back to the laboratory. Solar powered and transmitted through a cellular connection. For those wondering about the coyote, it's a working bright idea. And we'd lose power to our sound and then we couldn't get the data. A coyote on duty prevents bird duty from coating solar panels. Worked out great. Birds stayed away and we had solar power, power ever since. Monitor these reservoirs in real time. Um, these blooms, because they're bacteria uh, and they multiply quickly. Consistent, around the clock underwater information relayed to the Colorado Springs Utilities Lab. We had a, a custom website built for us so we can see that data. We can inspect all the different parameters. What we're excited about is the long term benefits of, of having all this data. Um, and correlating it with what we're seeing in the lab and what we're seeing out on the reservoir. The equipment comes out for winter to protect it, also to do some maintenance, and because the blue-green algae does not survive the cold winter temperatures. Watching out for you, Colorado Springs, Bill Folsom, News 5.